Hi everyone, in this video, we will go over how to print using the new Uninet iColor 560 and the iColor 2-step standard 550 paper. First, take the 550 paper side A, which will be the transparent side, and place a stack into the printer tray. Make sure to place the paper with the matte side facing you. That will be the print side. Next, open up Print Pro and import an image you'd like to print. Observe the red area. That refers to an area of the image that is larger than the print area. Under the Job tab, change the size of the image here. Make sure the lock is active to keep the ratio consistent. There are a couple other functions available to you here. These buttons up here will center, automatically fit to width, and more. A very quick and convenient method of adjusting the image size and placement. You can also create multiple copies of your image quickly by using the copies function. I'll reduce the size of the print to show an example. Go ahead and click copies and then drag the side of the image in whichever direction you'd like to create copies. This will allow you to create copies as long as there is room to do so. Now, I'm going to make a full size print on a black shirt. I will stretch this image out to fit width, but I notice now that the height of the graphic is too tall for the paper. I will click this button instead to fit to height instead. And then this button to center the image. Now that I've made all the adjustments I need, I will go ahead and click print. Once the transparency has been printed, press the heat press down without anything in it for about 5 minutes to heat up the bottom platen. This step only has to be done before the first print or after a long break from printing. Then place your transparency on the heat press, print side facing up. Take the 550 paper side B, which is the adhesive side, and carefully place it over side A, adhesive side down, making sure to cover the entire print. Now place a craft paper or Teflon sheet on top and press at 310 degrees Fahrenheit for 120 seconds with medium pressure. Once complete, immediately rub the sheets with a piece of textile for 5 seconds. Then peel the adhesive sheet away from the transparent transfer sheet diagonally in one slow, low, and fluid motion. Next, take a pair of scissors and trim the outer edge where adhesive residue will be present. Now, grab your shirt and place it on the heat press. Then take the print and position it in the desired location on the shirt. And place the craft paper or Teflon sheet on top and press at 310 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 seconds with medium to high pressure. These settings are for pressing on 100% cotton. For other fabric blends, please use this chart to adjust the temperature of your heat press. Once the press is complete, take the shirt off the heat press and make sure to completely cool the print before peeling. This could take up to 5 minutes, but you can speed up the cooling process by using a piece of textile to rub against the print to dissipate heat. Once completely cooled down, carefully peel away the transfer sheet in one smooth, continuous rolling motion. To ensure washability, press the shirt once more for 20 seconds at 310 degrees Fahrenheit. For a matte finish, please cover with craft paper and let cool after the press for 15 seconds to prevent the print from sticking to the craft paper. 
That's everything you need to know about printing using the new Uninet iColor 560 and the iColor 2-Step Standard 550 paper. Thanks for watching.